Okay, so we're in DS. I'm gonna take a basic shape, a basic shape, and I'm just doing this to show the, I don't even know what, I have no idea, but anyway. All right, so this is the file that I want, is this thing. So in this top corner here, <clears throat> if you hit in between the two zeros, it goes blank, right? Make sure you click off of this so you don't have the dimensions on here. So I clicked off. So I have a MacBook, so what I do is I do a capture or a screenshot for those with a regular laptop or a Microsoft, you know, laptop essentially. You do a snippet tool, which is essentially the same thing. Um, and now my screenshot's over here, so that's perfect, that's what I wanted. So now I'm gonna go into Inkscape and I'm gonna pull this up, so I'm gonna go back and zoom in. So you're gonna open an existing document. Mine always pulls from what's on my desktop. My screenshots go to go directly to my desktop. So this is the last one that I did. Um, it's gonna open. I have not touched these. I just leave them as it is, and I don't hit don't ask again because I I would like it just in case. So anyway, so I leave it exactly as it is. I hit okay. <clears throat> this is my file, so I'm going to click on it and make sure that all of these lines show up, right? From there, you're going to hit Path, Trace Bitmap, you're going to, this screen's going to pop up. This is only a single, you know, black and white, well, technically gray and white file, so I don't have to do anything, it's a single scan, I hit Update. And this is what it looks like. Now, in here, it's going to look a little wonky, and it's going to look like... I don't even know what the term is, but it just looks all like gross almost. <clears throat> and that's totally okay because it still comes out very clean. If you have multiple scans, um, from what I've understood, you basically, the eight scans is the number of colors. So if you have four colors, you do five total colors because you still have the background and everything, or you remove the background. I have to figure that out a little bit more, so I just kind of stick with, plus for my Glowforge, I have to do essentially like one per layer. Um, and if that, if I can figure out how to do it, then I'll change that. But anyway, so I hit update, I hit apply. Now from here, I'm going to take the, or unclick this, the toggle snapping. I'm going to toggle it off. I'm also going to toggle this, the ungroup selected. I'm going to toggle that. Now I can close this. I'm going to move this over. I'm pretty sure this dark one is my SVG, but I'm going to double check and double click here so nothing popped up. But if I click this thing, see how there's all these dots? It's showing me that this is the SVG. So what I do is I go back here. Sometimes what you're gonna notice is that this thing toggles on, the edit past my nose. I don't want this on right now. I want to be able to select and transform objects. So I'm gonna select that and I hit delete. Just plain and simple, delete, and it's gone. So now I can move this over and again, if you get stuck and it won't let you delete, it's probably because this stupid button is clicked because it goes back to it all the time and it drives you nuts. It took me a minute to figure that out. So anyway, from here, I go to File, Save As. Um, I delete all this out because I'm trying to save it as a plain SVG, so I'm just do Ball Star, Star. And then there's options on here. Um, I save as a plain SVG. And then that's the title of it. You hit save. And now I'm gonna close out. It's gonna ask me all this. I was working on something else, sorry. Okay, so see how I have the screenshot, but then I have the SVG. So let's go back into Cricut, or Design Space, excuse me. I'm gonna go to new, replace. I'm gonna open, upload my SVG now. Upload image. Ball Star SVG, and see how it comes up just as a cut image, nice and clean, just like the image that I saw, nice and clean, you can insert it, and it's right there, it's perfect. It's black and white, it's very clean cut, not like what it showed in the preview, so, and that is how you create an SVG.